Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and just a quick little video to show my collection of Recycle Magazine coasters and I've been on a roll, if you want to say, <laughs> um, with making these because after you fold them, it's like nothing to uh, make these. That's the thing that make, takes the most time is folding, folding the magazines. Uh, so these were the ones I first did and these were are with the People magazines and they're also a little smaller than the, um, the ones that I did with the Fashion magazines. I think I used um, Elle or Marie Claire, one of them. So the did these and this stack I just used Mod Podge for the back of them because I wasn't I'm gonna probably do it to the front but I wasn't sure if I would like it because when I did these the color kind of dulled down a bit when I used Mod Podge on this and I was gonna say something else oh you hate that and the paper's different with the People magazine than with the Fashion magazines. In this one, you can see I did start um, in the middle right here. This did start with the People magazine that I had, what I had left, um, folded and stuff. So, and then I continued it, continued it with the Fashion magazine. This one, the, this one. These are all have the Mod Podge on the back, and. These two, this one was a starter one. I am probably leave it like this on this size, which is probably a little bit, even a little bit smaller than the People Magazine one. And this one still needs a um, match Podge on the back. I like how that one turned out. Then my head started, was like, oh, I wanted, you know, I always wanted to do like the bowl, so I was I started the base. This is the base um, with fashion magazines, and I saw a tutorial on YouTube on how to fold the magazines differently. So that I did folded a bunch of magazines or paint magazine pages. That was from these are from Marie Claire. And then I got the bright idea to fold some scrapbooking paper. And these were from Felicia. She sent me some old, 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 old scrapbook paper that's in different sizes. I used a smaller one. But she also has like a 4x6, I think this one is, and then 6x6. So I folded the smaller size ones into slow strips and then I was going to, I rolled a couple um, for the circles to glue around it and then by the time I finished this and then I started doing that, I was like tired of doing this. <laughs> so that's why it's put to simmer for a little bit. I'm probably eventually going to do this one because I might send it as a gift, um, if not for Christmas or birthday, it might be later down the road for some for one of my friends. So that's that, and I still have to um, mod podge that the bottom or the top for the, you know, the base for that. So that's it for now, and thanks for watching.